Coming up in today's video, how to find keywords for your website. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, my name is Mac from WP User TV and in this show I'll be showing you how to find keywords for your website. Now when most people build their websites, they just start creating content. Now this is a bad strategy because you have no idea that the uh, content that you're creating is competitive or there is a demand for it. So there are many tools out there that you can use to find out if these keywords have uh, high enough demand and also competitive. Now, majority of people, when they build their website, they just go ahead and start creating uh, the content. So this may be writing articles or even videos. Now, the best strategy is to understand that the keywords that you're using are what people are searching for. So the tool I'm going to show you today is called KW Finder, and I'll show you my process of how I find my keywords. Now, I had to uh, I had to find out this the hard way because I spent so much time creating a lot of content and then realized that no one is actually seeing this content. This is why I'm making this video so that uh, you don't fall into the same mistake as well. Okay, so I'm going to go straight over here to KW Finder, which is the tool that I'm using for this example. And by the way, if you want to use KW Finder, I will leave a link in the show notes below so you can go ahead and start using this. So let's say you run a cake blog. So the most important thing, of course, is to start creating content around baking, how to make cakes or how to make spe specific type of cakes. This is the process that you need to go through to find out which topics you can go uh, you can go for. So over here, I'm going to search for how to how to bake a vanilla cake and see how competitive it is and I'll also describe what these numbers mean okay so I've typed in here how to bake a vanilla cake right so what you want to do is to click on search right so we can see here that uh, it has brought uh, us the uh, the results so we know roughly 1900 people search for how to bake a vanilla cake Okay, which is not too bad to be honest, but over here now, this is where it has this number here, 56. Now what this number is, it's pretty much telling you how competitive this keyword is. So the higher the number, the more competitive it is. So if you have a small blog, which uh, does not have a lot of backlinks or which hasn't been out there for a long time, it's going to be very hard for you to rank for a lot of these keywords. So the strategy here is to find a number here which is below 30 or around the 30 mark so you may have a chance of getting your website in the top 10 and this tool also shows you what is happening in the top 10 so we can see here that majority of these websites are high profile websites which if you have a brand new website they're going to be very very hard to um, to compete with okay so now that we've established that this is very hard to um, to compete well, what I want to do here is to come over here to questions. So if I come over here to questions and click on search, this also gives us ideas of keywords that we may use around this. So over here, we can see that how to prepare vanilla cake. Um, it's got 90. Now, this is way too low. Ideally, you want a number which is around the, uh, the thousand mark because if it's too low, you can understand that uh, the majority of the work you're going to put into this, only 90 people are going to see it. So ideally, you want to have a fair number of people. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to use the autocomplete. Now, how this autocomplete works is pretty much similar to what you'd get if you start typing here in Google. So if I, if I type in here how to bake, and then I add A, you can see here the autocomplete is showing how to bake a sweet potato, a sponge cake, and so on. So these are the sort of keywords that are going to show up here. But these keywords now, the advantage is you get to see the volume and also the competitiveness, which this normal search tool does not show you from Google. And this is what makes KW Finder unique. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to uh, select autocomplete and then click search. So I'm just curious to see what this tool brings us. Okay, so how to bake uh, sweet potatoes, you can see here, that's what we saw earlier on. So ideally what you want to do here is to um, click this difference here. So it starts from the lowest to the highest, like that. And then over here on the search, I'm going to also click here so that I can uh, see, you know, the search volume. So what I'm doing here is I'm looking for a number that is low over here. 
So I'm going to keep going down. So now we're starting to see, uh, for example, how to bake trout. Uh, that has 40, which is not too bad. And the volume is not too bad as well. It's 880. Okay. So obviously, all the way down here, these numbers are way too low. So there's no point in trying to um, search for, I mean, to create content for these keywords. Right. So now I'm going to go to the suggestions tab because this is also quite important to use the suggestions tab. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click here on suggestions and then click on search. Right. So this is going to show us uh, what Google is suggesting here on KW Finder. So if I start scrolling down again here, we can see that um, we have some high volume keywords here. Like for example, this one here is brilliant moist uh, moist uh, vanilla cake recipe. Now, this is something that you can straight away jump on and start creating content. Okay, so as I'm scrolling down here, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for less competition by but uh, decent volume. So as I'm scrolling down here, I can start to see that we have this here vanilla birthday cake recipe. Now, this is fantastic because look over here, the uh, competition is not too bad. It's around 38. And this is a keyword that maybe you might have not even thought of uh, in terms of um, the figures that it brings up. So 1,300 people search for it every month and also 38 uh, is the um, competitiveness. So this is a keyword that you can go with straight away, vanilla birthday cake recipe. So let's scroll down here and see if there's something else that we can find. Okay, now scrolling down, I, I've, I even found a really, really good uh, keyword. And this, these are the sort of things that you're looking for. Now, if you take a look here, we have Flaffy Vanilla Cake Recipe. It has 1,900 searches every month and the competition is only 28. So if I were in the um, uh, baking niche, this is the keyword that I'll go with straight away. So this is how you do your keyword research. It does take time. So what I normally do is I use a tool like Trello where I make a list of all the keywords and their competitiveness. And then I start creating all my content around those keywords. So again, if I scroll down here, we might be lucky and see another one. Okay, so the numbers here, I can see they're getting too low. But this is what you need to do to do your keyword research. So this process, we managed to find a keyword that has both a high uh, search or a decent search and also low competition. Now, this was just by adding your, your root keyword in here and then clicking on suggestions. But as I mentioned, depending on the niche that you are in, you can also use the autocomplete and also the questions. So this is how I do my keyword research. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments box below and uh, do subscribe for more tips and tutorials like this. Until next time, thanks for watching. See you soon.